Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest in the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today we got a very special episode. We brought G. Cole back onto the show, and we are celebrating the launch of his book, How to Live Anxiety-Free. I've been looking forward to this interview for a long, long time. G. told me about this book ages ago, and we're finally out there, and it's finally live, and we're doing the pre-launch recording today, but definitely want you to go out there and get a copy. But first off, hey, G., just want to say welcome back to the show. So good to have you back on. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here, and I really appreciate what you do and being able to be invited on your show. So thank you very much. All right. But you're already, the book's just coming out. You're already a best-selling author. I saw that you hit number one the other day. So, hey, how does it feel? Congrats. Oh, it feels amazing. You know, when you have a goal and you work hard towards it and do all the hard work and put in all the effort and show up and watch this kind of result happen. It's just so gratifying. I'm just celebrating at every level. I really appreciate all your help in me getting there because you gave me a lot of really good guidance and I really appreciate that. Absolutely. We love supporting authors. So whenever I hear an author that wants to get their work out that I believe in, like, obviously, I want to do everything I can to hopefully, you know, help do what I can do on our end. But let's get back to the book. So how to live anxiety free. What sparked this book? Like, what was the impetus for writing this? So I have been treating people for anxiety since 2007. And I've been watching the world just get worse and worse in the levels of anxiety in the population. And I have a way of helping people live without anxiety in their lives. I think too many people in the world believe that anxiety is just normal. So they Mm. accept it. They actually live their lives in a way that causes them to have more anxiety just because they think it's normal. And I want and I have to say out loud to as many people as possible Anxiety does not have to be part of our daily lives. Mm. So I have a process to help people live anxiety-free, and I feel obligated to tell as many people as possible. So I've written this book to help people live anxiety-free. Now, you're not new to this work. Talk a little bit, like, how long you've been in this business? How many people you've been working with? I mean, your your numbers are pretty staggering. Like, I just want the audience to understand, like, this isn't uh, you just woke up one day and wrote a book kind of deal. Like, you've been in this field for a while. Yeah, well, first let me clarify. My friends and family and associates call me G because my name is Jeffrey A. Cole, and that's my author name on the book, spelled G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y. And I started helping people improve how they lived their lives back in the year 2001. And in 2007, I started studying the neuroscience of the mind. And brought that into our practice, which had been established back in 2001, in 2008. And I've literally helped thousands, around three to 31, 3,200 people since that date improve their lives drastically. Mm. What led you to to originally, like, pursuing this work? Was it kind of like one of those aha moments? Was it gradual? Like, even outside of the book, like, treating people, helping people, what led you to that point? Well, fortunately, I talk about this in the book, and I want you all to know that I suffered. Mm. And it was through my own suffering that I tried to get help, and I tried many different modalities, medication, talk therapy, mindfulness, and I just couldn't get the relief. And Mm. I really had to dive in. And when I figured out what was causing my depression and anxiety that was driven by my brainwave patterns. And I dove into that and was able to cure myself. I then brought it into the practice that I was in and started helping people with a process to be able to live anxiety free. Mm. What are some of the, and obviously this is a full book and there's only so much we can cover in, you know, one podcast episode, but what are some of the things that you hope people get out of the book? Like, what are some of the takeaways? There are very specific and precise applications of techniques to implement in our day-to-day lives to help condition our nervous system 
to not create so much anxiety in the book, in the pages of the book. So when you read the book, you'll see that. Mm. And tell us about the way it was the books kind of put together. Like, are there stories in here? I know there's the step-by-step side of things as well and the blueprint, if you will. But are there stories in here? Like, And what I'm getting at is do you have to have a medical background to get into this or is this accessible for everybody to read? Like, give me a flavor for that. Well, the book starts with really my history that I just kind of described. It's in a lot more detail of my suffering and the journey I went through to discover how to help people live anxiety free. Mm-hmm. And then it's just telling people the techniques and ways to apply the techniques I talk about in their lives, as well as talk about alternative treatments that I have found to be helpful and the positives and negatives of those treatments. So it's a pretty comprehensive guide to being able to live anxiety free. I am planning to come out with a 21-day guide where if you follow this guide for 21 straight days, at the end of it, your nervous system will be conditioned to help you live anxiety-free. So that is an up-and-coming step-by-step guide for people that's going to come out in, towards the end of the year. And you have, like, at the core of this, you use a term called neuroempowerment. Like, what does that mean, and what are some ideas around that so people can get a feel for it? Everything is housed in our nervous system. Mm -hmm. So that word neuro is about the nervous system. And I'm literally empowering people to be able to be in charge of their own nervous system. Mm -hmm. You know, Adam, it's our nervous system. Shouldn't we be in charge of it? I mean, Mm -hmm. we should have learned in first grade how to condition our nervous system to serve us at the highest level possible. It's Mm -hmm. that simple. And unfortunately, it's not part of the first grade curriculum. I'd love for Mm -hmm. them to us to figure out how to implement that for first graders. And so neuroempowerment literally is the process I've created to empower people to live their lives in charge of their nervous system. Mm. And do you feel that that anybody can improve when it comes to, like, helping with anxiety and otherwise? Because you work with thousands of people. Like, I would imagine there's varying levels of improvement, but can most people improve? Anybody who can learn something can improve. Hmm. What have been some of the things you've seen, like, for anxiety and otherwise? And obviously don't share anybody's name or anything like that. Like, I'm not asking you that, but what have you seen when it comes to improvement and things as you've been developing these processes? I've had lots and lots of patients, but I have I know. That's what I mean, thousands. I know it's hard to pick, but, you know, I know it's hard to pick. You had thousands of them. I get it. But, like, I want the audience to get a feel because some people will listen into this, and it's just a skeptic in us. We all have it. It's like, oh, that would work for that person, but not for me, or, oh, that would work. So I want people to be able to identify. That's why I asked you that question. Yeah, so I've had some of the ones that are more pronounced. But I had a woman that was having seven panic attacks a day. Hmm. who after she went through my program and I talked to her about three months ago, which was about six years after she went through, she has not had a panic attack since. Hmm. So, I mean, you know, panic attacks are, I speak about them in the book, are a very, very high level of anxiety that causes our system to not be able to process and then go into panic. Mm-hmm. I've helped quite a few people who were medicating their anxiety with too much alcohol or Mm -hmm. other substances. I've had quite a few young people who were using marijuana as a maintenance program to curb their anxiety. And unfortunately, the anxiety keeps building up. And then at some point, they can't, you know, use enough THC to to quell it. I've helped quite a few people with sleep issues because lack of sleep causes anxiety. Mm -hmm. I have helped uh, a lot of soldiers with PTSD. I had a young man who came in and, you know, he had done three tours Mm -hmm. in Afghanistan. And when he came in, we couldn't shut the door. We couldn't turn the light off. And we had to be okay with the fact that he was bringing his gun. Mm -hmm. And we helped him at the end of that not bring his gun, have the light (laughs) off, and be able to shut the door. Yeah. Actually, he also was struggling with his homosexuality, mm. and we helped him fully accept himself as he is. And it's been very widespread. We help a lot of people with driving. I've had quite a few people who have road rage, 
as well as fear of driving. Our center is in Miami, so, mm-hmm. you know, driving in Miami might be a little more extraordinary than a lot of us places. But, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the list goes on and on. Yeah, and those yeah. are great examples. So that's what I wanted, by the way, because I'm I'm thinking about, like, you know, I guess let's do a little myth busting here maybe. Isn't anxiety just part of being human? Like, is this just something we have to accept? Like, let's do a little bit of bust in there. Yeah, that's for sure. A lot of people believe that, and the reality is is that the natural homo sapien nervous system is geared to be a fear-based, pack animal driven system and so what we really do and and this is spoken about in the book as well is help people shift the core processing from a fear-based pack animal into a love-based sentient being so we're helping people be secure with who they are love themselves and be able to show up with that to be able to love others Mm. And it's a whole different framework for living, although you may not be able to tell by a person's activity because they may be acting almost exactly the same, except that they will not have the anxiety that whether they're good enough, you know, in the natural order of things. When have you ever done enough? Yeah. You know, a lot of us are kind of looking for <laughs> Right? Exactly. I'll bite on that one. Never. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. And, I mean, the reality is if we could get our unconscious to understand that we've already done enough, Mm. and everything we do from now on, we get to do by choice. And Mm -hmm. because we love it, and we're shifting from I have to do all this stuff to the love of the game and getting to play the game on a daily basis and enjoying it at the highest level possible. Because why not? Yeah. Man, I love that. For the love of the game, I'm it's in. Time. <laughs> I am so in. I, I love the concept. I love the thought process. I, I just got to ask direct. I asked all my authors this because I love promoting books. Why should people buy a copy, G? Why should they? Because it's time to live anxiety-free. This book Ooh, gives you come a on. great guide to being able to up-level your life pretty much immediately. Yeah. What's the vision for this? Like you've been working on this a long time. You obviously the book's going to be amazing. It is amazing. You're going to continue promoting. You're going to continue helping people. But what's your big vision here? What's the big vision with this? The big like, vision is to help the world become a love-based place. Man, that's it's, a big one. To help yeah, the world become big. a love-based place. I want big. I want big. That's a great one. Yes. Yeah. Well, if you go to the website, howtolivingxietyfree.com, You'll see that's the the banner, basically, of the website. Yeah, that's great. Helping the world be a love-based place. Well, G, I think that's a great way to end it, helping the world become a love-based place. I know I picked up my copy or my pre-order copy over at, on Amazon, How to Live Anxiety Free. You said the website. Let's give that one more time, how people pick up the book and otherwise. So the website is howtolivingxietyfree.com. Mm-hmm. And you can go to Amazon and search How to Live Anxiety Free or my name, Jeffrey A. Cole, and it will come up. If you go to the website, there's a link there. You can also contact Adam. Here's the link and or me, and I will get you the link to buy the Amazing. Book. Perfect. And for everybody listening, just so you know, we'll put the links in the show notes so you can just click on them and head right on over. And speaking of the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't tuned in before, This is a daily show. Each and every day, we're releasing new content, new episodes, and we want you to hit that subscribe button because we don't want you to miss a thing. And uh, again, hit that subscribe button. And G, I know we're going to later on in the year when we have, you're going to be out doing some more press and media. We're going to bring you back on the show because I'm going to need an update because I think that this book, How to Live Anxiety Free, this is a movement. I see what you're trying to do, how many people you've helped. I know how crippling anxiety is for so many people around the world. And if this book can help, and if you can help, man, I'm just, I love it. I love where your heart's at. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Really appreciate it. My pleasure, sir. Thank you so much.